knowing you won't read it Before we get too far away I need to clear my mind I'd rather just tweet it and delete it Before we cross the line And we reach a point we can Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to Lady T Got The Tea and yes spooky season is approaching halloween is coming up you guys let's do some cute pumpkin diys but first let's light some candles and get it smelling really good up in here and get our vibe on Okay, you guys, everything I'm using came from the Dollar Tree, of course. So I have the wire pumpkin and I have some foam board. I got the black one. And what I'm going to do with this foam board, I got, well, I got some glue and some zip ties. I got some batteries. I got some, my glue gun, my trusty glue gun, some glue sticks, some scissors you will need. And, uh batteries because I have lights I have some old ornaments from a Halloween Christmas tree from last year I got some string lights take the batteries and they had this fabric which matched my theme perfectly so I grabbed some of those um yeah they were really cute for the fall then we got the blue pumpkins the nude color pumpkins and the orange which matches my theme this year these cute little trucks with the pumpkins and the flowers and oh my god and then some spiders I have a multitude of ribbons different kind I have fall I have Halloween I have purple I have black and orange and yeah I have a lot of those cute so let's get started okay so I took the foam board and I traced out the pattern of this uh, wire a uh, pumpkin traced it out and then I got uh, the scissors and I cut it out to size and you may have to trim around a little bit afterwards after you fit it on a back but that's for last so let's go ahead and cut this part out and put that to the side when you do So with this wire reef, I'm using two and I'm going to zip tie them together, kind of match them up and zip tie them together. And then I'm going to kind of fluff out the little uh, wires in between. So yeah, your zip ties, go ahead and cut them down after you put them on. Let's go ahead and do that. So after you got all your zip ties securing in place, I uh, took the material and the strips down the middle, like four of the wires directly in the middle is where I want to put this piece of uh, material. So I cut it down the size, you guys.
so I hot glued down the wire and also on the material and I just stuck it on and pressed down and wrapped it around and then cut off the excess uh, from the back. I'm measuring out how much ribbon I need on both sides and then I cut them to size and then glue them on with the hot glue. Y'all, these gloves came in handy, let me tell you, especially with using this glue gun. You might want to use some because they definitely help from burning my fingers while doing this.
Now you guys, make sure when you're using these lights that if you're using the hot glue, do not put them on the lights, only on the string and press down. Only on the string, you guys. Yeah, I didn't like the pumpkins at the top right there, so I took them off and ended up putting them on the pumpkin instead of on top. So now I'm just hot gluing the foam board to the back of the pumpkin and you should actually if you cut it right should be able to press it in a little bit but the glue will help to just stick it to the back you guys. So I made a bow out of the uh, same strips of fabric that I used and made a bow to go on top and it came out so cute you guys. It really is cute and uh, yeah this is what it looked like on the door after I got done with it. I don't know about y'all, but I think it came out super cute. Y'all let me know down below if you try it or you try something different. So this was the Halloween one that I ended up doing and it's made with one rack. I made the bow also and I hot glued it to the top of, that, uh, of the uh, wire that's on the top. And I had some um, little spiders that I added to it. It was too cute, the little greenery. Um, yeah, and it came out really cute also. Can y'all hit that like button for you, girl? Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you liked what I did or you suggest that I do something different. Let me know. I'm always over here doing something, you guys. Till next time, peace out. My own